You know how they say, be careful what you wish for and you just might get it? Well, once again, that's the case here. I'm working with one of the biggest AI companies in the world right now called Content at Scale AI, and my world has totally changed. This place is packed. So many people. Minnesota, St. Paul. This is a trip. Not gonna go to McDonald's, that's for sure. I heard there's a healthy place in here somewhere. I'm gonna have to try to find that. Sure does smell good. I think it's this Leanne Chin. Chin, chin, chinny, chinny, chin, bang, bang. A few moments later. Look what I found. Julia took pictures of it. Now I'm gonna go check it out. So they got some good stuff over here. If they're still even open, looks like they might be about to close. This airport is massive. This must be like a major interchange between one port airport to the next. Look at this place. Much better than Sacramento. They even got a Swarovski in here. Hammer made. Some really nice men's stuff there. And they got a Chili's. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Chili's. Baby back ribs. So Content at Scale flew me out to go to t in Wisconsin. Now I've never been to Wisconsin, but after eating here, traveling around the city, and getting to spend time with one of the greatest content writers in the world, and the president of Content at Scale, Julia McCoy. Got the queen of content hacking over there. t is the largest travel blogging conference in the world, and their venue at the Pablo Center was absolutely, unbelievably gorgeous. Getting to watch incredibly talented people like Squirmy and Grimes tell their story, their dating history, and their travels all over the world, how they're living their dreams and pursuing the things that matter to them most was unbelievable. I was actually pleasantly surprised how beautiful Eau Claire, Wisconsin is. Their beautiful rivers, their networking that we got to do after the event was awesome. They even had those flame dancers that were doing this crazy stuff with fire. And then I found a store with this sweet chihuahua. This store was amazing with so many beautiful artifacts. Hi. This is amazing. Wow. This place was like a crazy fusion between a taxidermist and an antique shop. Shrunken heads, all kinds of just really weird and awkward things. There was a elf statue. I could just spend hours and hours in this place exploring everything that they had. Time to eat. Taco bar. How's that for lunch? Some rice, some salsa, some chips, a soft taco and a crunchy taco, and some queso. And some corn. Stacked up. There's Julia and Josh over there. Loading up. Steak. One of my favorite things about traveling is all the different kinds of food. After we ate lunch that night, we went to a place called The Informalist where I literally had the best chicken parmesan I've ever had in my entire life. Getting to bond and have some camaraderie with Josh and Julia over an amazing meal, really a life-changing meal, and get to know each other better and get closer and share my story openly was really, really awesome. And these are the kinds of things I love about traveling and I love about working with an amazing group of people. As far as the event goes, we met some incredible people like this guy who's done all kinds of content creation you'd never expect from all over the world. And we met Hip Grandma, who absolutely rocked my world and made, hopefully, a lifelong friend. She's going to be using content to scale, which is going to impact her life and her business, which I'm super, super excited about. All right, it's been a great trip. I'm here in Wisconsin for my last day, and now I got to go film for Julia McCoy at Content to Scale. She's got a big talk with these clouds. They're so amazing. We're gonna finish up this day strong, and then I'm gonna head home and get back to my family. Before your talk, you gotta get all chill. Hey. Adrenaline is running so high right now. Yeah. Oh man, you didn't sleep? I slept like five hours. See, that's what I did too. You'll be great. You're gonna crush it. It'll be your best talk yet. There you go. I like that. It's about to go down. The room is filling up. Look at all these people. More and more people are trickling in. It's going to be a good talk. Let's go. She is the author of eight books. She writes one every year. She's known also as the content hacker and has been named as the top 10 content marketers to follow. So please, 
Welcome, Julia. We need to put out more quality content that really demonstrates our experience. So we're gonna optimize AI written content and then spend time finding the right keywords. All right, so I like SEMrush, it's a more expensive tool, but what I do is I'll plug in a root keyword, generalized topic that my people care about. You can see here, right, over 2,500 questions that we can sort through. So in the past, think about creating content for that. <sighs> That's a bear. So now we can use AI to generate all these pieces infinitely faster, and that's actually what Content Scale was built for. You can load it up with topics, go make a cup of coffee, come back, all this amazing content is written just like that. Overall, after a crazy experience at the airport, amazing food, amazing people meeting at the TBEX event, including the owners, Rick Calvert, and all the awesome things, I can't begin to tell you how excited I am for the future of what's happening with AI, what's happening in the agency world, and how creatives can embrace AI and embrace the tools and the things that are happening because you have to look at this as a glass half full versus a glass half empty type of situation. And if you do, you will win. All right, so there we go. 1.20 in the morning. Just getting in from Minnesota, Wisconsin to and uh, spent about 12 hours at the airport today. To say I'm beat would be an understatement. I've been up since 6 a.m. that time, and I'll be at almost 24 hours by the time I get home. So I'm gonna catch an Uber and end this trip here.